Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Mia is helping out in the kitchen today. First, she's baking some pizza for lunch. How delicious! Let's give her a hand and learn together a little bit about shapes as well. Did you know that shapes are everywhere? Let's take this pizza. It is in the shape of a circle. A circle is a shape that is round. It is a curved line that starts right where it ends. This pizza is perfectly round. Mia's going to put some pepperoni slices on the pizza. What shape are the pepperoni slices? They are round. These are circles too. Time to let it bake. While our pizza is baking, can you think of anything else that is a circle? What shapes will Mia bake next? Mia is pouring brownie batter into a baking tray. The baking tray is in the shape of a rectangle. A rectangle is made up of only straight lines. These straight lines are called sides. How many sides does a rectangle have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. A rectangle has four sides. What's more, a rectangle always has equal length opposite sides. The sharp point where the two sides meet is called a corner. This is a corner. How many corners does a rectangle have? One, two, three, four. A rectangle also has four corners. When the brownies are all done baking, Mia is going to cut them into pieces to share. While they are cooking, can you think of anything else that is shaped like a rectangle? Mia cut the brownie into small pieces, and here is one brownie piece. It has straight lines. Those are the sides. It has four sides, and the opposite sides are equal length. It also has four corners, so it is a rectangle. Oh, but wait a second. The sides are all the same size. Look, this side and this side are the same. All of the sides are the same. This brownie is in the shape of a square. A square has four sides and four corners. It is a special kind of rectangle because all four sides are the same length. I also like to call it the rectangle's little sibling. What are some other things shaped like a square? Next, Mia is cutting up a watermelon to have as a snack later. She is cutting the watermelon into slices. Each slice has straight lines. We just learned that those are called sides. How many sides does this slice have? One, two, three. This slice has three sides. How many corners does the slice have? Let's see. Here is a sharp corner. That's one. Another is two. And this one makes it three. It also has three corners. That makes this shape a triangle. A triangle is a shape with three sides and three corners. That's because tri means three. Like tricycle or triceratops. A triangle has three sides and three corners. Let's take a look at all the mighty shapes we have learned about so far. First, we talked about the circle. It's curved. It doesn't have any straight lines or corners. Then we learned about the rectangle. It has four corners and four sides, and its opposite sides are of an equal length. Then the square, or the rectangle's little sibling as I like to call it, it has four corners and four sides that are all the same length. The triangle has three sides and three corners. Ooh, I think Mia is making her last treat, sugar cookies. And she has cookie cutters for each shape, circle, triangle, square, and rectangle. First. Mia made a bunch of circle cookies. Hmm, these don't all look exactly the same. They are different colors and different sizes. But they are all circles because they are all round. Next, Mia made a bunch of triangle cookies. How can we be sure they are all triangles? 
you can check that each shape has three sides and three corners, like this pink one. It has three sides and three corners. So does this one with sprinkles. Three sides and three corners. All of these shapes have three sides and three corners, so they are all triangles. After the triangles, Mia made some rectangle cookies. Hmm, but we still want to check that they are all rectangles. Let's look at the blue one. It has four sides, and its opposite sides are equal length. And here are four corners. It must be a rectangle. All of these shapes are rectangles. Next, Mia made some square cookies. We can check that they are still squares by looking at the sides and corners. First, do they all have four sides? Let's check the green one. One, two, three, four sides. Are the sides all the same length? Yes. And does it have four corners? One, two, three, four. It does. So this is a square. All of these cookies are squares. Lastly, Mia made one more cookie of each shape. Let's name each one. What shape is the pink cookie? Let's see. One, two, three. Three sides. How many corners does it have? One, two, three. Three corners. That means this cookie is a triangle. What about the green cookie? How many sides and corners does it have? One, two, three, four sides, and four corners. Are the sides all of the same length? Hmm. This side looks really long, and this one looks short. But the opposite sides are the same length, so it must be a rectangle. Take a look at the yellow cookie. What shape is it? Well, I don't see any straight lines, so it doesn't have sides. And it's really round. It must be a circle. What shape is the red cookie? Hmm. There are four sides, and they are all the same length. There are four corners, too. This must be a square. Great job! We learned about some mighty shapes today. We learned about the circle, the rectangle, the square, and the triangle all in Mia's kitchen today. Where else can you see shapes? They are all around you. Take a look around your home and see if you can find some. I'm going to have a cookie. I wonder which shape I'll pick. See you soon!